Hello, Mom and Dad. So I want to introduce you to the activity that we call Finding the Ghost. To do this activity, you are going to need a blank piece of paper, which I will provide, a template with your child's name, and a pencil. So the way we do this activity is we put the template under the paper. And if you can see, we can faintly see the name under the paper. What we want to do is we want to make sure that we help our child guide them to make the letters using the correct letter formation. For example, we have the letter M, we can barely see it right here, and encourage them to start at the very top and do the strokes in the correct formation. For example, if you have the letter A right here and you see your child starting right here and going around, well then, you know, we wanna correct that behavior. I'm going to go ahead and model with correct letter formation what the name should look like. Once the name is finished, then you move the name down. Now, one of the things that I wanted to suggest is if you, uh, if you see your child writing, make up maybe something silly or something funny for the letter so that they can remember what strokes to do. For example, if this is the letter M, have them say it out loud and you say it out loud. You go down and then down and then up and then down. For the letter A, say something for the letter A. You go around and the tail. For the letter D, make a line and then the belly and the back. For the letter E, make a line and go around and you stop. For the letter Y, start at the top and go down. For the letter Y, make a little hand and then the little tail. Make sure it connects. For the, little, for the letter N, make a line, go back up and then the hump. So this is just of course using this name as a template but you would want the child to write at least five times on one side, five times in the back. And then as an extra practice, if you have the template there, see if your child is able to write their name legibly on a blank space. If your child is um, attempting to write maybe the first two letters, well then at the next time that you practice, then you know your expectation is to try to write the next three letters, the next, the next letter. If your child is having difficulty with one specific letter, like for example, I normally tend to see difficulty with a letter E, well, they'll do this. Or sometimes um, the letter, the letter uh, Y will look like an X. Well, then you will know that you will have more practice on that letter. Each child will have you know, their own difficulties depending on the, letter of the, the length of their name and the letters that they use. But I will be sending this as a homework for your child to practice at home. Good luck! Bye.